It's long and and uh, long and strong. It's long and strong. That's I, my Tinder bio. I, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hello! And welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Henrietta Hippo. Okay. And this here is Frank. And I did not get the memo to wear the Croak and Crow merch. Live up, up now. Not really. <laughs> it's exclusive. You got to find it. We won't tell you where. We won't tell you when. We won't tell you how much. <laughs> But well, we've hidden them around we've the, hidden them. If you around find, the country. If you find Frank, you ask him and he'll put you in the right direction. If you can get him to speak. Anyhow, what's up, guys? It's been a um, whole one day. It's been a day. It's been 24 hours. And 26 um, hours. The sun has risen on a Thursday. Again. Thank, every day I wonder. I'm like, is it coming up today? I never wonder. Really? I don't even need a rooster to tell me. You don't need a rooster to tell you? Mm-mm. Do roosters really do that? Like, do roosters really? Okay, so... What's the truth about the rooster? This is the truth about a rooster. My truth. Your truth. Um, I lived in a Caribbean country. Okay. And those roosters squawked all day long. Yeah, that's because... Well, I mean, it's so sunny. <laughs> uh, they're probably just yeah. like... Hey, it's, it's day, it's day, it's warm, it's day. Oh, do you think that's it? They squawk in the sun, so the first time they see sun, they start squawking? It's not that they only squawk in the, in the first sun. Well, no, obviously, when you think of a rooster, you think... But then again, um, what did, what did Jesus tell Peter? This is a religious podcast. Oh, yeah, I you're right. He said when the rooster crows three times. And that was the day was going on. Yeah, the day yeah. was, I think. I don't know, yeah. I don't know the time it was, yeah. but... Um, but it wasn't go to sleep and wake up. It was it was saying this is going to happen before this happens. Yeah, and it was wait, wasn't it the third crow? Didn't wasn't it like yeah? He was talking, then he heard a crow. He was talking again, then he heard a crow. Right. So that rooster was squawking all over the place. Yeah. Is it? It's not squawk. It's it's a cockadoodle doing. <laughs> cockadoodle doing. I believe I had a friend from Puerto Rico, and they said kiki di kiki. But it's the rooster crows. The rooster crows. Like crow and crows. <laughs> The crow doesn't crow. The crow does crow. The crow does crow. The rooster caws? No. The crow caws. The crow caws and the rooster crows. Mm. And the frog croaks. Yeah. <laughs> we got it all figured out today. Animal Today's animal sounds. <laughs> oh, no. It's like that old game where you spun it. What was that? Uh, the old farmer? Oh, see and say. The, what you call it? The old farmer? Uh, <laughs> old McDonald? See and say the farmer says. See and say loved the farmer that. says. How much could you love it? Are you saying like when you were a child? Even when I had children, would you? I, you just pull the string yeah. and the arrow turns, and it makes animal sense. But there were there were other there were other there was more in the series though. So wasn't uh, that was like the the one who blew I up? I think it's called the See and Say series. Okay, that was like the Beyonce of um. See and say the farmer says of Destiny Child. I love it. I don't know. Okay, well, moving on, guys. I get it. Moving on. We're going to do this all day? And I was Henrietta Hippo, and you you don't know who that is. I also don't know what the sound of hippo makes. <sighs> Murder. I think they're the most dangerous animal in yeah. whatever country they're in. Henrietta Hippo is an old time, it was a kid, it wasn't, she was a character in a kid show. I'm trying to remember what show it was, but she wasn't a cartoon. She was a um, like a mascot type. Okay, so it was like a, a person show? Yeah. Like the lady with the big red chair? Right. Or like Read Between but the there Lines? But like, there wasn't just Henrietta Hippo. There was... Ah, so she was the Beyonce of Destiny Child. <laughs> no, it's just the one I remembered. But anyways. Any... Any... any <laughs> farmer... Anyhow. Farmer... Um, farmer Day. It's Farmer Day. Not really. It is May 20th. Yeah. Which is still my birthday month. Mm -hmm. So did you get me anything? Don't even worry about it. I have everything I need. You know what? I'm looking at these glasses. We have a lot of stuff from, from days past <laughs> in the studio. And these glasses, they're happy birthday glasses. Why did I not wear these for my birthday? Frank Actually, had them on, didn't he? Oh, for my birthday? I think so, yeah. I'm losing it. <laughs> you're, I'm, I'm, you're older now. Yeah. <laughs> 25. My yeah. mind is um, slipping away from me. kind of like them. Is it uncouth to wear sunglasses during a podcast? 
If we were an uh, audio only podcast, no one would ever know. I like it. I thought you were going to say, is it uncouth to wear sunglasses inside? And I know people have thoughts about that, but I don't think people would care one bit if you had them on during a podcast. I keep sunglasses on side because the sun never sets on a badass. What? I heard that somewhere. Did you ever hear this? I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so okay, I can. copyright struck. You can't even sing songs? What? You're not allowed to sing them? I wonder. I Because people I, do covers. They're there like. Oh. Yeah, but I think you have to like credit the people. Mm-hmm. And I mean. Just speed it up. Yeah, or change a word. Isn't that like, uh, don't, isn't there loopholes? I wear my fun glasses at night. <laughs> These are fun glasses. I'd, I'd say they're more fun than they are sun. They're pretty dark. I go polarized only when I'm wearing my glasses. You have sensitive eyes? No, the opposite. My eyes just don't work. I get to stare at the sun. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you get sunglasses like Ray-Bans and they're also prescription? Yeah, of course. That's like, that's when you know you made it, I think. When you can put on sunglasses. Like, I'm not saying those glasses that like, change color as the sun comes out transition yeah. lenses Not no i know i almost did it um really <laughs> big spend you hear that frank um yeah you can definitely do that i think you're supposed to do it if you need glasses and i guess i may, like imagine if you were legally blind yeah because yeah. if you have contacts on you can put glasses sunglasses over but if you don't if you but walk if you around glasses and you know some i've seen old people do that they have on glasses pers- over glasses yeah. have you seen it no i've done it before People have done it, and they also um, they put the clip-ons. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I do it when I'm dry, because that's the only time I wear glasses, because any other time I don't need to see. I prefer not to see. Okay. Um, the world's an ugly, ugly place. I'm waiting for, you know, my real eyes to be opened in the realize. afterlife. Realize. I realized that, re- what is it? Realize, real eyes, realize, real lies. Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't know the last part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see right through those real lies, and you realize what those real lies. X-ray vision. Yeah, X-ray vision. If you could have one superpower, what superpower would that be? X-ray vision. Really? No, no. Oh, that'd be awful. <laughs> I want like vision to have I want like MRI everyone. vision. I want vision, like the opposite. I want like everything to be covered up more. Oh my gosh. Um. Ooh, I don't know. You want to be able this to fly? This is such a hard question. I could never answer it. You want to be able to fly? Fly. How about if I could float? Like, not fly, but just, like, three inches above no, the No, I meant in the water. That's not a superpower. That's just a skill you can learn. <laughs> like, without learning it. Like... So you want to give up... Even the best floater in the world, he probably couldn't be thrown off a ship in the middle of the deep Atlantic. Oh, so you just want to be completely buoyant. Like, <laughs> a, like a piece of driftwood. <laughs> just buy a life jacket and wear it all the time. <laughs> also... To what end am I floating out there? Like no help is yeah. coming. I would keep trying to like. <laughs> and, and you think it's great until you like try to take a bath and you're just like floating on top of it. <laughs> you jump into the pool. No, you just hit the water. I was going to say the bath. You, you would just take a shower. Nobody would know. Yeah. But can you imagine at, at a pool? Yeah. And what if you can't take? Like does it mean that you're hydrophobic or is it hydrophobic when things like oh, jump off you? Oh. If you can never. If you can never. Um, so the water just slicks off you in the shower and then. You're like cursing Imagine the genie. Imagine you, right. Imagine you pick something and you didn't think about all the implications and it's such a regret. Yeah. Like imagine you were able to fly, but the only, like when you think about flying, obviously you're completely take, taken, unless you have wings, you're taken mm-hmm. out at gravity, right? Yeah. Now what if you can fly, but the only thing that loses gravity and is your propulsion is like your head and your body doesn't just all magically go with it. So your head is literally dragging... <laughs> you around or like your hand it was yeah. so goofy and then yeah you think, i know should i do it I um what superpower would i want i would say to be invisible but i already feel that way <laughs> <laughs> no let me think i want i i once thought i'd like to be um what is it t- not what, what's where you can read minds yeah i know what i want to say t- keep on to say telekinetic but i think that's where you can move things um yeah i know what you're saying but I think that would backfire off. Like, I think mm. you would not be able to be around anyway. Because you, you can be around the closest person. And you'll just have a bad thought about it. How about them. have the Midas touch? Did you not read the story? I've got the Midas touch. Prince, didn't he, like, touch his Everything daughter? Everything I touch turns to gold. turned to gold? Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you could you could 
Control it? Yeah. Nah. Make money? Oh, you know what, I, what movie is that? Looper? I think I'll, I'll choose that one. That's where he can teleport. And so he looks at pictures of like the pyramids and then boom, teleport Oh, in back. different times? The pyramids or just... are still there. <laughs> no. I know that. I'm saying... So it's current time. So he, he teleports from here to Egypt. Yeah, it's a boom. It's 2021. Yeah, you can teleport inside mm-hmm. of a bank. Take some money. Oh. Um, you can teleport. You know, like... Yeah. You want to snowboard in the morning, you teleport to Aspen. You want to surf at night, teleport to, you know, um, Hawaii, Hawaii. How about you could heal people? Yeah, that'd be cool, too. That'd be so tiring. Yeah, and it would also be... Imagine there's a never-ending line. Yeah, it'd be mentally draining. Yeah. Because even when you had the power, you would not then have the time. No. And so there'd be people begging, like, my mm-hmm. daughter, my daughter, and it's like, you can't physically heal everybody. And then That's tw- why I don't like this game. Well, you could have chosen. You had to bring up the dark ones. Like I said, I'm just <laughs> I'm teleporting to to the pyramids of Gaza. Mm-hmm. Is that one of the where the pyramids are? I don't know. Maybe. I think that's the dangerous place. The Gaza Strip seems like it's always in the news. Yeah, maybe it's just on my mind. <laughs> maybe. Um. Anyway, that's a no- wait, 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 guys. Down in the comments, let me know what your superpower is, and I'll tell you whether it's dumb or whether it's a great superpower. Ooh, maybe. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Any? How about like fire? What about like the X? Oh, uh, like like Men. like the Avatar, like to um, oh. be a bender. Yeah. Yeah, but my thing is this, because like some people say, like, uh, oh, um, I want to, I want to be able to run super fast. I want to be super strong. My thing is, you'd want something that you use a lot. If you could fly, how many times do you need to fly somewhere? You don't. It would be very cool for the first day. You'd fly in the air and you'd come down. But would you do it every day? Then, like, are we still living in a world where no one has superpowers? No, that's why all of it is it's just too hard. Well, that's like, why I like my teleportation. Maybe you could just fix a flat. Well, you're going to get a job as a mechanic? No. Just if it ever arises in your life. That was like, um, <laughs> what, what was that, what was that uh, movie? The Superhero High or fly high, oh, yeah. sky high. Sky high. That's it. Sky high, where there was like the superheroes, and there was like super strength, super speed, super awesome at doing things. But then there was the sidekicks, and it's like so you're born. A lot of these kids were born with powers, mm-hmm. and they'd go to the school. But the sidekicks had like these weird powers. It's like I can make this happen, and it's like it was such a strange thing. But yeah. I think the mom in that was Kelly Preston, who was John Travolta's wife, who unfortunately, um, she died very young. Well, you love bringing darkness into this podcast. R.I.P. It's not darkness. You went to heaven. Oh, you love bringing light from the <laughs> darkness. Anyway, guys, enough jibber jabbering on. It's Walk Through, Through Thursday. Thursday. Roll the intro. Dance. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What's up, guys? So you know the deal. It's walk through Thursday, the greatest time of the year. You say that every week, and I don't get it. It's the greatest time of the year. Walk through Thursday happens probably 52 times a year. That's what's so great about it. That's not making sense. Yeah. That's 52, 52 weeks There's in a year. There's only 52 weeks in a year? Yeah. That's what I know. Always thinking about that in the summer. It's like when, when, like, hey, the lights out. Everyone's feeling a little happy, and I have a uh, pessimistic thinking. So you just accused me of this, and now you're going to be dark. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, show Apple me, show, doesn't fall far. Yeah, the tree. show me your friends, and I'll show you your future, or something okay. like that. Um, and so it's like one of my things. Oh, I got, I got to do stuff. I got to stuff. It's like, oh, relax. And it's like there's only eight more weekends, and that's not even true. Four, yeah. Like, there's only like twelve weekends in the summer yeah. proper. Twelve. I'm sorry for depressing you. Get through you. two of them. There's only <laughs> ten more. You get through three more of those. You're down to seven. Seven. <laughs> okay. Seven. Listen, all of them are fun. Every season is great. Every day is fun. Even and don't guess be, don't be looking forward to the weekend. Look forward to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And guess what? Though. We're gonna go to a place where it's sunny all the time, so we don't have to worry about the approach of winter. And that's to hell. <laughs> We're talking no. about hell today. Get out of here. All right. We're going to do a walk through Thursday. All right. walk through Thursday. You know the deal. We open the Bible up. We pick a verse. And we walk through it. I'm talking 
sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, and we, we slow it down. We don't speed up, we slow it down. And we talk about it. Okay, Spencer, May 20th, walk through Thursday. <laughs> this is the right paper. So today we're looking at Romans. Dun, 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 dun. Burr, 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 burr. For those of you who don't know what Romans is, that is the New Testament. And it's even newer than the New Testament because it's Paul who came after Jesus. And Paul right. wrote Romans, which was a series of letters to the Romans, mm -hmm. pra preaching the words of Christianity and trying to evangelize yes. the world, doing God's work, some would say. So we're going to look at Romans 8. Now, 8 comes after 7 and before 9. Now, I love Romans 8, and we could pull from... Um, Anywhere in yeah, I it's think long. It's long and and uh, long and strong. It's long and strong. That's I, my Tinder bio. I, <laughs> Come on, it's not fun Friday. It's <laughs> walk through Thursday. It's slowly. Um, I love Romans eight for some reason. I don't know. There's a lot uh, we could we could uh, we could visit it again because I like other verses in there. Yes. That's all. Okay, so yeah, so we're we're skipping through a lot of Romans eight, yeah, to get to Romans thirty five to thirty seven. Okay, folks, so listen Oops. up and listen well. I'll read it once, and then we'll start walking through it. Mm -hmm. Ahem. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger of sword? Oh, I messed up. Or sword. As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through through him who loved us. Thank you. Th yeah, th thank you. <laughs> um, I don't think I um, got that. Okay, that's why we're going to walk through it. Okay. Uh, it's a famous um, set of verses from Romans 8. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I know Romans 8 and I enjoy it, but this I actually saw on Instagram as that it was, I didn't, I didn't pick that they would be lumped together. It's something that a lot of people like. They especially like the line, um, more than conquerors. And you'll see that just those words alone. Yeah. Um, that, that we shall be more than conquerors. And there's a lot of conversation about, and I know n normally we start at the beginning, but this is starting at the end. Going but, backwards. But, um, and people have ideas about what more than conquerors mean. Um, two things that I saw was, one was more than conquerors because the victory is so great. It's not just a regular mm. conquership. The other thing that I saw was more than conquerors mean conquerors like take over well yes that's what you're saying is that that's how it would be more than yeah it's more yeah. you're more than just taking over right, right. you're being given i well, don't i don't really know what, what okay no i thought you were saying something else i thought you were saying <laughs> I'm shooting in the dark here i thought you were saying to conquer would be to to destroy or whatever right yeah but more than conquerors they were from one something i read was like you actually the people you conquer turn around and become your friends like you don't destroy and leave it's like you destroy and grow yeah that's an idea but okay. i do know that more than conquerors is something people love to discuss now my question is this so we're, we're going backwards so that was we don't have to but I just because no, it's fine so i want to okay. talk about 836 okay so that was 837 836 um he writes as it is written for your sake we face death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered okay now where is that written okay thank you for um Thank you for asking that. Oh, it is, you should keep shooting in the dark, and man. You're going <laughs> to hit something. That is written in Psalm 44. Psalm by David? Um, Probably. Um, you're always with asking me about who wrote the Psalms. Um, Psalm 44, verse 22. So no, not to confuse everybody, we're not talking about Psalm 44 in this walkthrough Thursday, but it is in, it's the it's the jelly in the donut. It's literally- Not a fan of jelly donuts. Oh, continue. <laughs> it's the um, it's sitting in here. So that's why it's in quotes. And it says, as it is written, 
Um, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Paul. That was one of David's depressing. Yes. Lines. Yeah. Yes. Paul took that from Psalm um, 44 and he stuck it in there. And, and and it also helps you remember and what you just said. Um, to get, It was given. You said this is the New Testament and this mm -hmm. is Paul. And that is another. Is it, we've done these before where we're doing New Testament, but the Old Testament is stuck in there. Yeah. It was. It, it was a psalm that it was one of those psalms where i'm guessing david was saying to god like oh why why yeah, yeah. um it, i think it ends up good and it, and it always does yeah and yeah. it's like he was, a, he was a depressed guy but he had love for the lord but i just i i don't want to say i love the depressing ones but i i just love the camaraderie mm -hmm. of knowing that these important biblical characters still felt confused yeah and, well that's yeah. why david is my favorite i say it every podcast and i'll continue to say it every podcast mm -hmm. that dude went through it like he had some moments where he's like this is terrible blah yeah. blah, blah and a lot yeah. of, a lot of the psalms would yeah would, would go like that we are like we face death all day long we're just sheep ready to be slaughtered and then i don't know how it continues but i'm sure it's something like but my love for you is un unwavering right and i will be your humble servant until the day you bring me to glory right i just made up a psalm there so don't quote me on that but it's why it's always not i i can't do the life is perfect and right. i am happy no thank you so we got that we got that now can we walk through it because i'm still not yeah. sure what i'm sure. what i'm reading and so if i'm not sure. sure what i'm reading i'm sure a lot of you guys okay. are not so first question first question first sentence paul asks is who shall separate us from the love of christ nobody right um well that's what he's asking okay and it's sort of it's a, he's asking a question where he knows the answer. Okay, so he's like, "Who?" So it's um rhetorical, right? Who's gonna separate? Who's gonna separate me from yeah. Jesus? You tell me. Um, is it trouble? No. Uh, is is hardship gonna separate me from, no. from the love of Jesus? Is perse persecution? No. Is famine gonna separate me? No. <laughs> is nakedness? No. So I can okay. What about danger? Danger. No, danger, danger, stranger, danger. I keep thinking it's, it says danger of sword. Oh, but it's, it's because that's a danger sword. <laughs> is sword is no, a sword going to no. separate me from the love? No, but it says for the sake where we face death all day long, we are considered sheep to be slaughtered. Is he saying no to that? Yes, everything he and my <clears throat> um everything that's written here is like I said, it's everything that's written here. He's presenting it as um he's before you can say to me well maybe maybe when you're starving to death that that proves god doesn't love you mm. maybe this maybe that how about how about psalm 44 how about this and then he answers in the last line which is which is okay. okay now it's coming together okay and so now he's like no in all these things so in all the trials and tribulations that, that, that he just listed he listed for them for the romans before the romans could ask him Okay, so you know what? I'm, I'm I'm going to cut out the more than conquerors. Okay. Because more than means that and some. Right. So I'm going to use just that word. Okay. So in all of these trials and tribulations, we are conquerors through him who loved us. Right. So you don't look at it. Why do bad things happen uh, to us? Does God, you know, oh, does that mean God makes bad things happen? And it's like, don't look at it like that. Look at it like we are the conquerors over those things because God's love is with us. Right. Anything and the sword, danger, hardship, persecution, we're conquerors over that, <laughs> and not the other way around. It's not. Right. It's not the separation of love makes those things happen. It's th those things that we can conquer. Ha we're, we're able to conquer those things that do happen, right? Because we have the love of God, right? So we're not sheep to be slaughtered, David. I know you. I know you were going through it, right? But even we are sheep. In a, in a biblical way, not yes. in a um, same brain way. Yes. But it's through God's love. Does, or what did it? The, the wolf doesn't separate us from God's love as sheep. No. We are conquerors as sheep through God's love. Right. And more than conquerors. More than, right. So then that's the part that people like. Right, exactly. So you just read it and explained it. Explained it. Well, by saying. Some would say I walked through it. You walked through it. By saying that, um, I think my microphone is too tall because I'm always like trying to see what the words are. You can uh, move it. I know. <laughs> um, 
you 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 said let's um forget the more than for a second yeah so now and we're gonna add how, it back in yeah so because because go ahead because that's how you explained it okay so no in all of these things all of these trials and tribulations we are more than conquerors through him who loved us right so 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 paul is listing some really serious things mm -hmm. some very negative things some very De dejecting and depressing things yeah and they're not just his ideas mm -hmm. like you said can you imagine david said it yeah and then he's telling you yes every single one of these can be conquered but then he says more than conquered more than conquered so these things are bad what can you think of something worse hardship persecution worse than famine, the sword right no persecution no uh, slaughtered all day long yeah so then he says no you're going to conquer it and then you're like whew that's good news i think that's true thing i don't think you can be slaughtered all day long i think slaughtered is a one-time thing if you, fa <laughs> you face oh, death all day long oh i thought the people like we're, it, we're just like no it's it's like we face death like it's around the corner the always mm -hmm. and it's just we're just here sheep waiting to be just slaughtered waiting you're in line for death right yeah Mm -hmm. All right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, and so that's why this line is more than just you're protected by God. You're loved by God. You will prevail. Mm -hmm. Things will get better. It's more than. And the word more, the, those two words more than are really important for the whole entire Bible and all the promises in the Bible. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you why. I'm listening. We can be assured and comforted by all of these promises with our earthly brains, earthly language, yeah. and our earthly comprehension. And that's the only way. How else would we be yeah. communicated with? By saying more than is like, like it, you know, it's like you, um, our, our 23rd Psalm, you're going to have a table before you and you think, what is the best feast yeah. you can think of? Yeah. It's going to be more than that. Yeah. I can't tell you in your language what, but it's going to be more than. Yeah. And and it's all it's always, you know, the disciples and everyone who are were always asking Jesus, like they wanted a definitive answer. Even on the other things, like how many times should I turn their cheek? And he was like seven times 77. That wasn't, don't do the math and say, right. well, I've said sorry, you know, uh, 400 and fourth. I don't know. It's the idea of more than that. Like mm -hmm. whatever you can say. Right. And so he just times it. He was like, right. it's it's more than that. And right. How many or see the, the stars in the sky? Right. More than that. And it's like, well, what? It doesn't. Everyone wants this concrete stuff. And it's like, we live in a concrete world. Right. But these ideas of what comes beyond that is so far from concrete. Yeah. And um, yeah. And, and, and it's a lot of the Bible is like that. And so it's a lot of there's people who they want the Bible to be still concrete. Yeah. And they don't like the idea. But I like it in a way. I think you do. Like even when uh, God said like when Moses was talking to God at the bush, it's like, oh, well, who are you? It's I am. I am. Right. And it was like a name wouldn't have done any justice. No. And it was like, I am. I am. And then you sit there and it's like, I don't really know what that means, but I kind of get it. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, and when you learn about the brain, um, I don't know what that word is. Is it, I don't want to say plastic because that's not right. Plasticity or elasticity. I don't know what it is, but. Neuroplasticity. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it's the brain, um, how much it is. I'm not going to explain this right. I shouldn't have started, but we have a brain and, yeah. and you can study the brain. They know the different, the two sides and the front cerebral cortex and everything. And this is what this does. And this is what this does. But. There's so much about the brain that is bigger than even that. And and you see it in brain injuries and things where it repairs, it reconnects, mm -hmm. it they talk always about um repairing your brain or recharging or regenerating. And this is science, because like to bring science is does have a place in religion. Um yeah. and so when you were just talking, so the brain in our head, and then you think about the all of um, spirituality mm -hmm. how you just said it's um it, it, it's bigger than it's so big and so it can go in so many directions and can, yeah. and can be and can be rewarding in so many more ways than could be written into a textbook yeah now do you think michelangelo's 
um, creation of Adam in the Sistine Chapel, do you think that he meant to make it look like a brain? I don't think he meant to make it look like a brain. Really? But I, oh, really? Is it true? Because I don't know the history. Well, he he was known for cutting up cadavers to understand the human, really? the human body more. So he would know what a human brain looks like. But I wonder if he still did it unknowingly. Are you saying divinely unknowingly? Divinely unknowingly. Okay. So you're saying... He had the ability. You're saying it, it, what is there is meant to represent a brain in some way. Yes. But he did not see it at the time. Yes. Okay. And I'll tell you something, because I paint. Yeah, you used to paint on the show. I used to paint on the show, but um, they were bigger pieces. I paint very teeny tiny, like one inch by one inch pieces. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of times I, I don't know what I'm painting, but when it's done, it looks like something. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? So yeah. That's what makes me think about a painter who would paint that. He would have had the knowledge of how to, you said he studied bodies and brains, um, and I think it's what makes a lot of his work so very special because it's so layered, full of yeah. meaning. Yeah. Do you think it does? You brought I do. you brought it up. You you think he said, "I'm going to make this." Yeah, I, I, with this I think he was Easter smarter egg. than his time. Okay. And also more open-minded to religion, and so um, there's a I, I that's a podcast on its own about the Sistine Chapel ceiling and Michelangelo. But this today was walk through Thursday, guys. And we walked through it. We walked through Romans 8, 35, 37. Check it out. Check out all of Romans 8. Yeah. If anything. Check out all of the Bible. Not by tomorrow, but... By tomorrow. <laughs> have have homework on the desk tomorrow. <laughs> but that's our podcast, guys. It's been fun. A little too fun. Maybe Maybe tomorrow might be a little more not so fun. Just kidding. It's fun Friday. Whatever kind of energy we have today, we just have to amp it up tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, Tell your Bible-reading cousin to check us out. Tell your not-that-into-religion aunt also check us out. Mm -hmm. this, This lunch table is open to everybody. Peace, love, prosperity, love of Christ. Um, get rid of all that trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, sword, because you know why? And all these things were more than conquerors through him who loved us. Peace.